What's going on everybody? Today, that was a perfect one too. That was great. Just the sprayer just drives by, you know, farmers need to spray their fields. Loud, loud tractors. What's going on everybody? Today, I wanna to talk to you about the XD mode, which stands for extra distance mode on the Garmin Zero A1i Pro Bosite. I mean, that's a pretty good, pretty good little intro there. <laughs> So I've been shooting Garmin bow sights for five years now, and I started with the A1, and then they have the A1i, and now the A1i Pro, which is this one right here. This is the A1i Pro, and uh, I love this thing. And for one reason why I love it is because it has the XD mode, which is extra distance mode. Now, with Total Archery Challenge coming up, I want to shoot farther distances. This is not essentially for me anyway, it's not for going out to shoot animals at farther distances. For someone else, it might be able to. Um, you know, when my primary position, which I'm going to call my hunt position, and I'll, I'll dive into the primary and secondary here in a little bit farther, but uh, in my primary position, I can get 20 yards to 72 yards. Now, my primary position will be my, my hunt position, basically. It is what I would go to the woods with. I can range anything from 20 to 70, and I am good. Actually, from zero to 70, and I am good. So that is my primary, but like I said, I wanted to get a little bit farther because Total Archery Challenge, a lot of the targets are from 60 to 100 yards. So I wanted to have pins, you know, for those farther distances. And basically, I knew it had an XD mode, but I really didn't know how to dive into it. So with some help from the guys at Garmin and uh, some literature, I dove into it and I wanted to make a video because I think uh, this is something that people really need to know about. So let's dive into this XD mode. To start the XD mode process, I'm assuming that you know, you've know you already sighted in your primary position, which would be your 20 to whatever it might be. Uh, it needs to be sighted in before you do the XD mode. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn this on, pop it on, right now it comes up, it says arrow one, that's just my profile, I haven't named it, that's just you know, my arrow profile and what I'm gonna use. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit the okay button here to get to XD mode. It's gonna come up with these, it's gonna say hunt, it's gonna say arrow profile, it's gonna say zero locations and settings. You wanna go all the way over to the settings there, hit okay, it's gonna bring up pins, brightness, and pro settings. So this is what you want. You wanna click okay on the pro settings and then it's gonna say XD mode off. You click that. It's gonna say set the base position of the mount. So basically what this is, is you're gonna take your elevation rail, what you've already sighted your bow in as your primary position, you need to know that number. So when I look over there, mine is set at 45. So I'm gonna hit okay. My site already knows that it's at 45 because I've already sighted it in that far. So we're gonna hit okay. So we know that's perfect, that's our base position. And then it says set the extended position of the mount. So I click OK. Now we're going to try to find how much clearance we have, you know, our end position to be our secondary. It says make sure that the arrow can clear the sight body. I hit OK. So the best way to do that is take an arrow. Now if you have a drop away, this is what I do. So right here, this is something that I've got extra with the Garmin. It doesn't come with the sight, but uh, if you don't have it, there is a set screw in there. All you need is an Allen key to loosen it and then dial your sight in. But this is nice because you can do it right on the fly. All you gotta do is loosen it and then you start dialing it down. Okay, you hear it clicking? Okay, keep going here. And what I'm gonna be doing is I'm just gonna be checking. So right now I'm at 57, I'm gonna tighten it. And I'm just gonna check right here how much clearance I have. And the best way to do that Let's put it just like this, see if you can see this, with your fletching there, okay, I can go a little bit farther. I'm at 57, I can go a couple more clicks. So I'm gonna loosen that. Let's see what, uh, that's, we're at 60 right there. So let's see what we got here. That's 60. Okay, we are gonna be really close at 60. I think we could do 60. So let's do that. I'm gonna hit okay right there. So I'm gonna dial this into 60 right there. It says set extend extended position to 60. I'm gonna hit okay. Now it says XD setup complete. 
mount is in the extended position, range from rest while in the extended position. Now this is where I was getting confused. It says range from rest, I was skimming over that. So basically what that means is I got my target down here and a lot of guys, myself included, would pull back and range while you're at full draw. But what happens is we move the elevation rail. So our reticle in there, we have a reticle, if you're familiar with, with the Garmin site, there's a reticle with a dot in it, okay? So that helps to know that you're at the, the right position when you're at full draw. If that dot is off by any, by any stretch of the imagination, you're not gonna hit where you're at. What you need to do is you need to, I try to get like a solid base, I wear a hat a lot, so I'll put my hat against my string, and then I'll look down here, and I'll do the range, okay, we're at, 63 and i ranged it it gives me a 63 yard pin and now i can shoot and that is the extended range that that that's what we i know i'm going to clear it okay i know i'm going to clear my side housing but let's see how far i can i can get out i'm going to i'm going to range a little bit farther here i can get i can get 94 out of this okay so i started with a primary of 20 to 70 I move it down to the extended position and now I can get 94 yards. So now those targets are those, you know, farther distances, distances I'm going to have a pin for that. So essentially what you're doing is your pin stack inside there is, is staying the same, but you're just allowing it for it to have more, more pins, but you're eliminating the top pin. So you might be eliminating the 20 yard or you might be eliminating the 30 yard. So let's say for instance, you come up to a target and it's 20 yards and you don't have a 20 yard pin essentially, because you've moved past that. All you gotta do, pop this, loosen it, go back up to your primary, which is 45 for me, tighten it down, go in your settings, and click the, in, uh, the XD mode off, and now you just range from 20 to 70, and you can shoot 20 to 70 right there. So in a nutshell, that's how it works, and that's how I got it to work, and I'll tell you what, I've been shooting long distances, and I've already shot up to 94 with this thing, and it is spot on. It really is. I'm super impressed with it. I didn't think technology would be able to do something like that. I don't know how it works. Don't ask me that, because I really don't. But man, this thing is awesome. Something I almost forgot, something that I was confused with before I knew all about this was, now that we're in a secondary, we know where our secondary mark is, minus 60, now I felt like, you know, I need to cite in those yardages from like 70 to 94, whatever it might be, but actually, in fact, you don't have to. Since you spent the work citing in 20 to 72 in my, in my instance, it's already done the calculations for you. All you have to do when you're in XD mode and you're on the secondary position, just range at rest. And once you do that, let's say it's 92 yards, that's how far you're staying from the target. It gives you a 92 yard pin and it is spot on. I thought I had to cite those, those yardages in, which in fact, you don't have to. So that is something to take in consideration there as well. You don't have to cite those in because you've done the work before. So that is XD mode and uh, I couldn't be happier with this thing. Honestly, I didn't, it didn't take me long to do this. Once I got it figured out and uh, you should be driving tax in no time. So check out the Garmin Zero A1i Pro Bow site. Go to the range, wow some people and drive some tax.